Hello, friends, and welcome to Simply Clouded. This is your trainer, Ashish Jain, and today we'll start with the basics of ECS. Before we move on to ECS, we'll first learn how to push a Docker image to an Elastic Container Repository or an ECR. The only prerequisite that you need to follow before you start pushing your image to ECR is you need an EC2 instance with Docker and AWS CLI installed. If you see on your screen right now, I have an AWS Amazon Linux machine with Docker installed. So now the first step that I need to follow is that I need to create an elastic container repository. So I'll navigate to my AWS console and I will go to Amazon ECR homepage. And I'll click on get started. I have to fill this form to create my first repository. I will start with a public repository or let's, let's keep it private and let's name it. So I'm going to use a Jenkins application image. So I'm going to name my repository Jenkins. I'm going to take the default settings and I'm just going to create my repository. Notice that this URI is going to be really useful when we want to pull a Docker image and push it to our repository. I'll use the most common Docker Hub Jenkins image. I will go to my instance and I will pull the Jenkins image on my instance. Meanwhile, it gets downloaded. Let me go, uh, let me walk you through the steps which are required after this image is pulled. Once this Docker image is pulled on the EC2 instance with Docker installed, we'll tag this image. We'll tag this image with the exact repository URI and then we'll push this image to repository. So if you navigate your repository, it will generate some default push command that you can directly follow to push this image to the container. Push the container image to the repository. If you see the repository is empty right now, I will just select the repository and I will view the push commands. So it is a set of four commands that we need to run to get this image inside my ECR. To check if I have successfully downloaded the image, the command is docker image ls. So I already have the Jenkins image in my local Docker repository. This is not the ECR. This is the local Docker repository where I just downloaded my Jenkins Jenkins image, which is tagged as latest. We need to change the tag. Or we need to make a copy of this image with the correct tag because the ECR only identifies the right tag. So we'll go to our push commands and we'll copy the commands one by one. The first command is doing nothing but authenticating my Docker and connecting my current AWS CLI instance with my repository. So notice we pass the URI in the repository here. And if I hit enter, it will have automatically at the back end configured a credential to basically authenticate my Docker with my ECR. The next thing that I'll do is I will build my Docker image using the following command. So I will create a new copy of that image and I will pass the name of the image. We don't need to do this step at this moment because we already have an image built. We needed to do this step in case we had a Docker file or a Docker compose file we were, where we were using our own custom Docker image. So we'll skip to the third step, which is to tag the existing image that we have. The name of our image is Jenkins Jenkins. So I'm just going to add a Jenkins here and I'm going to hit enter. If I again run the command Docker image ls, now I have a copy of the same image, but the tag of the image has changed. The tag of the image represents latest with the repository name of my ECR repository. 
the only final thing now left is to push the image with this particular URI to my ECR. So I will copy the push command from my AWS console and I will hit upper push. And it takes a couple of minutes. And then when you go back to your repository, let's just wait a couple of seconds. Let me pause the video until it's downloaded and let me come back to you. If you notice the pull and the push both have been completed. So I should be able to see the image in my repository. If I navigate to my repository on the AWS console, and if I go inside, now I see the latest Docker Jenkins image in my repository. Try this at your end. And in the next video, I will show how to use this image to create a task definition and run a full-fledged application. Uh, more to come in the ECS series of tutorials. Tune in, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos at Simply Clouded. To subscribe our channel, please hit the bell icon at the bottom.